Well, some days ago I made a video uh, about lossless scaling, about the new X4 Mo X4 times X4. <laughs> 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 which actually allows you to quadruple your frame rate. So instead of having the the e, the X2, the X3, we now have the X Men. <laughs> no, we have the X4 mode, and we have G Sync support as well. On this video, passing right now the screen. And after searching online for some hours, I was finally able to properly record the footage of lossless scaling. But still, as soon as I disabled lossless scaling, the image would just stop and things wouldn't work. So I myself uh, searched a bit more and when I mean searched, I didn't search online, but I kind of messed around with the software and so on. And I finally found a way for you to record lossless scaling footage and the normal footage without lossless scaling, without needing a recording card. So for free. All you need here is OBS, which is the Open Broadcast Software or Open Broadcaster Software, something like that. All you need is the software and, an, and a, a GPU or an iGPU, of course, any of those will work properly. Now, what you need, first of all, is that you need to run both lo lossless scaling and the GPU um, and the GPU, you need to run both lossless scaling and OBS in administrator mode. This is a requirement in order for OBS to be able to, cap to capture lossless scaling. Oh, but before, let's just lay an eye to the sponsor. GVG Mode! Bringing you lots of software deals like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2019 or 2021 with a new Windows 11 design. And for all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 30% off, getting a Windows 11 serial key for $22 and a Windows 10 one for only $15. Then use the key on your Windows settings and you'll have an activated system. So usually the software you install, unless you, you choose a specific path, will go into the C drive which is usually the Windows Drive, then Program Files, then OBS Studio. Here it is. So OBS Studio, you open it, go to the bin folder, 64-bit, then you go down here, OBS 64, right-click, Properties, Compatibility, and you select the Run. You check the box with the Run, this program as an administrator. You do this, Apply, Done. Then you have to do the same with lossless scaling. In, in case you install everything on the same disk, it will be most likely on program files, or in this case, program files x68, then Steam, then Steam apps, common, and it should be here. In my case, I believe it's in this disk, and it should be here. Yes, lossless scaling. Then you open it, go right click, properties compatibility and you do the same run this program as an administrator this is needed okay for things to work properly now you go to your steam account you open lossless scaling launch and then you open obs open broadcasting software if you don't have it well download it because you need it i will actually just delete these in order for you to see. You'll have one scene for lossless scaling and another scene for the, well, for the display when not using the lossless scaling because if you have just one scene with two sources, as soon as you disable the lossless scaling, the image will just be stuck and you don't want that. So what you want to do is once again, create two scenes. In the scene of lossless scaling, you can call it lossless if you want to. Then, then go to sources, add source, go to game capture, and you select OK, Game Capture, and then Capture any full screen application. No, you select Capture Specific Window. Then you select the window, Lossless Scaling, in this case 2.11, Administrator. So it needs to be in Administrator mode. After this, everything's fine and dandy. You can use Capture Third Party Overlays such as Steam if you want to. Okay, now you want to have the display the display scene when lossless scaling image is kind of stuck. So you go here, create another scene. Scene 2, you can select, for example, display. Then go to the source, display capture. Okay, you select the display you want to capture. In this case, this is the one, 1440p ultra wide. We can enable the preview if you want to see. In this case, the preview is at 1440p because I had a, uh, I had the monitor in 1440p, so I have to go, for example, to video, select 1440p ultra wide instead of 1440p, and as you see, here is the display capture, 
and here is the lossless scaling capture, which of course it is not working now because lossless scaling is not applicable to any game. Now that you have one scene for display and another scene for lossless, and as you see, as soon as I switch the, the scenes, it, it has kind of a fade effect that you have here on the screen transitions, which looks kind of cool. Then you have to go to the settings and hotkeys. And you have the hotkeys to record and to stop recording, of course. But most importantly, you need to select the switch scene options. Now, what I advise you, for example, if you use the TN keys, the, the numpad keys, it's to use the first one for the display and the second one for lossless scaling. Meaning that as soon as you press the number two, you see the scene will change. And this is exactly what you want. So you go into the game, you use the display one, you, you press the, um, the numpad one, and it will go in this scene, the display. As soon as you enable lossless scaling, you immediately press the numpad two, and it will switch to the, to the lossless scaling thing. As soon as you, as you disable lossless scaling, you go and press display once again, and it will go back to the display thing. This will allow you to record lossless scaling and your display at the same time, as soon as you enable it or disable it. Just for you to understand better, this is a part of the video that I recorded on my, on my previous video, uh, without the camera here, of course. And as you can see, you have the lossless scaling, the performance mode and so on, and you have no layout here. As soon as I enabled lossless scaling though, you see, that, that fade that we have here, that little fade that we have here, is when I pressed the, the, the numpad 2 in order to change scenes. Because if I activated lossless scaling but I stayed on the display scene, lossless scaling wouldn't show and the overlay here wouldn't show. But as soon as I press the numpad 2 to switch to the scene of lossless scaling, as you can see, we have the little fade and now we can actually see the overlay here, 45 tripled to 134. Okay, so <laughs> that's what we have here. That's how it works. That's how it properly works. As soon as I want to disable it once again, I do exactly the same. Let's go, uh, let's go further. As soon as I want to disable it, I press the, the, uh, the numpad 1, as you see, fade it away, and then disable the frame generation from lossless scanning with Ctrl Alt plus S. As you can see, bam, the FPS went up because I disabled frame generation. That's basically how it works. As soon as you want to enable frame generation, you enable frame generation on the lossless scaling app, then you switch to scene with numpad 2, which is a lossless scaling scene. As soon as you want to disable and keep recording the, um, well, the gameplay without the lossless scaling application or without getting your, your image kind of stuck, all you have to do is disable lossless scaling frame generation and then switch back to the, to the display scene with a numpad 1 key. That's all you have to do. So administrator, select the scenes as I told you, um, and yeah, everything will work properly. That's, that's just it. Simple, easy, and most of all, free. And well, guys, that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. I believe that you've been searching around several videos across the internet because I was as well. And this was the easiest and uh, the cheapest way that I found to record without having to get a, a recording card. Because, of course, if you have a recording card, it will work. But you need to spend that extra money. And for people on a budget, that will, well, that, that will make the difference with a... With the money that you get from a very decent card, you can actually get a better CPU or a CPU actually, because decent cards will cost you like 250 or more than that, 350 sometimes. So it's a lot of money. And by doing this, you can record like I did on the previous video without any need for additional components or hardware parts, which is very, very good once again for free. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know if you actually made it or not if you have any doubts leave them on the, on the comment section and as usual i will answer as i will answer i will answer as fast as i can thank you very much and see you once again in the next video